Okay, here's our second function transformation. It's f of x plus a. Now that's different to the last one. The last one was f of x plus a. So adding something to the end of the function. This one's really, really different. What it's actually saying is um, add something to x in every part of your function where x appears. Uh, so let me give you an example here which will sort of show that. Here's a really complicated cubic function. Here's a really complicated cubic function. x plus 4, x plus 1, x minus 3 multiplied together. That gives us our cubic. You haven't seen it before, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. That's what f of x is. f of x equals x plus 4, x plus 1, x minus 3. If I add a to this, if I add a to this, look carefully at what's happening. I'm adding 1.8 to each of those x values. I'm adding 1.8 there, I'm adding 1.8 there, I'm adding 1.8 there. Okay, just get rid of that. In my periodic function, 10 sine x, if I'm adding a to x, I'm adding it inside of that bracket. And you can see there I'm adding x plus 2.8. I'm adding the, the letter a to wherever x appears in my function. If if x appears once, then I add a once. If x appears 10 times, then I add it 10 times. But I always add it directly to where that x appears. So let's formalize this a bit. What we're saying is that if there is a function called f of x, and I create a new function called g of x, and in that new function, it's simply f of x plus a constant, which we call a, then what's going to happen? Well, if I add if I add the a value, you can see it moving left, which is the opposite of what you'd expect. So it's important to note that if a is greater than 0, then it's going to shift left. And if a is less than 0, no surprises here, it's going to shift right. Now, you've already seen this before because you've. this is really, when you're doing quadratics and cubics and reciprocals and all of them, this is really your h value. And you know that you've had to swap your sign whenever you've dealt with your h value before. So this is not news to you. We're just formalizing it so then any function, doesn't matter how stupid looking it is, doesn't matter whether you've seen it or not, if I say here's the function, I'm going to add something to it, I'm going to add something to the x, you'll know that it's going to shift left. Add something, shift left, subtract something, shift right. No, it's a bit freaky. Okay, that's it. Second function transformation.